How are you guys doing today? So one of the favorite wineries that I have is the Donna Vineyards. This is the Vaso Cabernet Sauvignon 2016. I would not use the word entry level in any way, kind of cheapening this wine. Winemaking process, the vineyards, the location and the real estate and everything that you count in arriving at the, the final price of the wine. Pretty penny, but really, really, really great juice coming out from Donna Vineyards. So today we're going to talk about the Vaso 2016 Vintage. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. So the winemaker for Vaso is Chris Cooney. He actually overlooks Dana Vineyards and the wines coming from Dana Vineyards, Onda, Dana. Uh, Onda is uh, one of a very popular one at our shop. Just brought in the 2016 Vaso. So let's check it out. Tell you more about the ratings that this bad boy received recently, 2016 Vineyard or 2016 Vintage. James Suckling put it at 95, Wine Spectator gave it at 93, some classic scores. Again, as I said, the ABA is Napa Valley, so they source the fruit from a couple of vineyards. Majority comes from their vineyard known as the Vaso. So it means the vessel. The way that they are telling the story or their philosophy is to offer the vessel of Napa Valley. So let's check it out. So I poured myself a wee bit of it. Nose is right there. Tell you about the aging, the barrel aging on uh, the Vaso 2016 Cabernet. 22 months in new French oak. That's a good amount of time. It imparts, as you know, vanilla oak characters to it. The color is more on the reddish side, more more deep red would be the and opaque for sure. Let's check out the nose. Red cherries come out right away. Brambles, baker's chocolate. Mm, that spice, uh, hard to put it. Give me one second. Yeah, more of nutmeg. Nutmeg comes there. Nutmeg and like baking spices. Let's check out the palate. Wow, before I get into the, the nuances that I get, I can say it's very, very structured. Wow. Getting lots of plums, roasted coffee. Dried herbs. The tannins, as I said, that, that brownness that I'm getting, the tannins are very creamy, very polished in, in, in a word. Medium acidity, and I'll pair it with, it's all over the board. More of beef that I would lean towards, hard cheeses. Superb wine. Cheers.